Welcome back. In the previous part, we went around activating those moon symbols finally, and then we found a door with a complex pattern on it, and it's locked. Let's go tell the witch. Ah, welcome back, Fatenty. What's wrong? There's a door. It's locked. Oh, did you find the last curio d'art? I may have. Madame Marta looks through the lantern spoils and discovers a curio d'art. My, my, that was quick. You're on top of things, as always. I like to be. But this feeling over the manor. Hiya, Granny! Did you get them all? Gotta catch them all. Yes, let's see. Perico, dear, please wake up the Count in the living room. What? Not that guy again? I hate him! Just shut up and go get him. I don't care if you have to drag him over here. Perico stamps her feet on the ground angrily as she storms off. Now, let's see. I should probably check, just to be sure. Madame Marta carefully studies the curio as she slips through the catalogue obscura. Yes, no mistaking it. This is a curio d'art. That makes seven, Fanti. Yeah, but what about the door? There are six days until the next full moon. <coughs> Whether it's for better or for worse, everything is going according to plan. Yeah. So what's going to happen on this full moon then? Is this a coincidence? Or is it fate's equilibrium in effect? Or, as you suspect, it could be very well the choice of Steinsgate. Uh, yeah, it is, yeah. I suppose the wandering spirit sees through all, doesn't it? Uh, yeah. Let's put that aside for now. We might have found the last one, but we haven't fully conquered the labyrinth, have we? I assume you haven't because something got in your way again. Now, what should we do? <coughs> if I was your medium, I could write it out. But as it is, there's nothing I can do to help. Granny! 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 Chicken meat stopped moving! He's dead. I thought you were back quickly, but it seems you were just messing around. Did you even wake the Count? Not yet! Fix her first! Yuru said to feed chicken meat, but she's not moving! Instead of the Count, Perico has returned with a dead bird cradled tenderly in her hands. Oh, so the bird did die after all. I suppose it's about time, then. What? What is going on? Fix! Chicken meat! Perico, child. Chicken meat isn't a doll. You can't fix living creatures. No fixing? Chicken meat... living? That's right. And what did I say about calling Eureka that name? Did you forget already? Mm. Got it. It's just for safety's sake. Be careful. Go bury the bird in the garden or something. <coughs> Madame Marta collapses. Huh? Granny? Two days later. Uh, how much longer? 
Sorry, there ain't much for you to do. It'll be another half day, at least. If we keep going at this pace, it looks like... Sundown, maybe. My back hurts. My hips. Even my shoulders are stiff. And I still feel sick to my stomach, thanks to your dad. <laughs> but I'm really, really happy you came with me, Nachi. Yeah, but whatever. What's a kid doing here? P Perry! Eureka leaps out of the carriage and hurries to the motionless child on the side of the road. What's going on? Is she dead? Perry! What's wrong? Granny! She stopped moving. Not moving. <laughs> Granny might be dead. <laughs> Where are Miss Toba and Count Bismont? Perry! This brat ran all the way here? It's half a day by carriage. That's a hell of a run. Help, Granny. Eriko seems to have used up all her strength. She collapses into Eureka's arms. Mr. Coachman, please hurry! Madame Marta is snoring away in bed. What, what do we do? Oh. Wait, is this... But... Why would this old bat have that? It's impossible. But these symptoms... It seems like Count Bismont isn't here. Perry says that Miss Toba hasn't been back since we left either. I... I... I'm going to the capital! I'll find a doctor! It's too late for that today. But... but... Are you planning on running the whole way? You'll faint before you get there, just like Perico. There's nothing we can do for today. Do we not have any carrier pigeons or anything like that? By the way, how's Perico? Perry's sound asleep in my room. I think she was really tired. Adam Granny, why didn't I notice earlier? I knew she wasn't feeling well. Right. Is Fanti back? Oh, yeah. F Fanti? Are you there? Uh, yes, hello. Oh, that's a relief. Fanti's okay. Naturo, seemingly having picked up on something, flies out of the room. Why? What? Is something wrong, Nachi? The seventh curio de art is here. That means we've collected all nine? All nine are here. Huh? We finally found all of them? That's great, Fanti! I'm not entirely sure it is anymore. A note written by Madame Marta lies next to the curio. Naturu. Picks it up to read. Did Madame Granny leave that note? From what I can tell, we collected all of them. But she thinks that Fanti hasn't finished exploring the labyrinth yet. I don't know how that old bat got her hands on this, but she wrote this down too. There's a detailed diagram of what appears to be a riddle written in ominous runes. Pretty sure this is the riddle where Fanti's stuck right now, but I'm afraid it doesn't look like something a person can solve. A riddle that can't be solved? 
I'm getting a pretty strong feeling from this. It feels almost like a grudge, actually. I don't think this is meant to be solved by anyone. Under normal circumstances, it could take months. Even years wouldn't be enough. I think that's the kind of riddle we're dealing with. Oh! Do you think that means we're supposed to use that curio? You know, the sage book? No way. That's far too dangerous. And more importantly, it's got nothing to do with our health. We don't need to keep exploring. We can't just leave Madam Granny like this! We have to do everything we can to help! <sighs> Would she get better if we solved the riddle and finished exploring the labyrinth? The world doesn't always work how you want it to. We collected the curio that the Count wanted. That's all we had to do. And since he's not here, there's nothing we can do for now. Yeah, you're right, but... There has to be something we can do for Madam Granny. Like, um... That's it! You haven't gone to Count Bismont's room, have you? No, right? His room? Count Bismont might be in! I'll go check! Hey, wait! Are you here? He's gonna be gone, isn't he? Looks like he's not answering. Let's get out of here. But what if he fell down and can't get back up again like Madam Granny? Hey, can you pick the lock again? I don't think he's in there, but... Wait. The door's not even locked. Home? There are no candles burning, but unlike their last visit, the sunlight streaming through the windows illuminates the room. Hey, don't go so far into the room. It's really dark in there. He's not in. <gasps> Count Bismont? It isn't him. Nachi, this isn't the real Count Bismont. It looks like him, but this is just a puppet. So who's been using a Count Bismont puppet? Among a pile of tools lies a large, life-size puppet. Huh? But why does he have a puppet that looks just like him? No. It's probably not his puppet. It's the Count himself. What? What do you mean? I mean, the Count is a puppet. Huh? You mean someone enchanted it? Technically, it's the same idea as the puppet soldiers. But we're not underground. I thought there wasn't any mana up here. Yeah. The mana in this world is pretty sparse. On the other hand, the mana inside Galeria Manor is relatively dense. Wait. What the heck? Uh, I don't sense any mana. It's like most of it disappeared. What's going on? That's the question I've had for quite a while. How could this happen? Is it because we found all the curio? Nachi, what's going on? You just told me Count Bismont is actually a puppet. I can't keep up with all this. B besides, why is he even a puppet in the first place? Does that mean someone made him? H hey, Nachi! Don't ask me. I don't know either. Oh, uh, I'm sorry. Let's get out of here. Okay, we have to look after Granny, but we can take turns doing that. I'll take the first shift. Go get some sleep. Uh, okay.
Madam Granny, what should we do? Up until now, Fancy would go exploring and find something to fix our problems. I wonder if Fancy's exploration can help us get through this too? Uh, okay! If that's the case... If I use this, then... Maybe... Eureka shakily reaches out towards the curio. The lantern is torn from Eureka's soul. Oh, oh sorry. I was looking for Miss Yuri. Uh-huh. Madam Witch, no. Miss Nachiru, I'm so glad we were able to talk. Revolution! What? Burn them! Don't let a single one get away! Ahaha, uh -huh. what do you think? I could go by Queen Tobalier. That would make you King Cognac. The guillotine must be dripping with blood. Oh, that's right. You heard of Galeria Manor? Let's make that our fort. It's like... I wonder if it's going to address, like, um... What's he carrying on that stick? Yeah. <sighs> a, a dream? What was that? It didn't feel like a normal dream. Was it one of the ones that Twerp used to talk about? But she's supposed to be the Oracle, not me. Fancy, what are you doing? What's going on? Now that I think about it, Kit did say something about the wandering spirit's powers. Huh? Is the lantern here too? Sorry, I nodded off there. I'm fine now. You go to bed. No, you can sleep, Nachi. It's not like Madam Granny has a fever. There's no point in staying awake to take care of her. This isn't a normal illness anyway. It's something else. Huh? I Eureka? Yeah, she sounds very different. Oh, that's right. I have a request to make. I solved the underground riddle. It should open up if you recite this in front of the gate. Can you send this into the lantern? As she speaks, Eureka hands Nachiro a note with what looks like a poem's verse written on it. What? You? Solved it? That's written in runes. You shouldn't be able to read it, much less figure the whole thing out. Well, it was fairly simple. I was able to decipher 30% of it by comparing the epitaphs we found. It was a well-known requiem for stillborn souls. What? Once I determined that, I was able to solve the rest by... Well, I suppose Decipher isn't perfectly accurate. It was more like... I saw it. What does that mean? Yuri, don't tell me you... My head is as clear as can be now, Nachi! As though a thick fog has dissipated and I can see everything perfectly! You... Used it? Yes, that's right. But I'm completely fine. It didn't cause any harm. In fact, I feel much better. Yeah, for how long? What were you thinking? Oh, but it seems as though the lantern is no longer connected to me. I wonder why it went over to you despite the lack of a pact between you two. It must be because... Well, never mind that. You're tired, aren't you, Nachi? Let's turn in for the day. I'll see you tomorrow. With those parting words, Eureka leaves the room. Hey! Hello! 
Ah, hello there, young lady. Sorry to bother you so early in the morning. What happened to you? Tomas writes, the reporter, yes? You're injured. Are you all right? Yes, just a little blunder. It's been a rough day. A little blunder, mate. As he speaks, Tomas makes his point by deliberately rubbing the seat of his pants. Good day, Miss Eureka. We're actually here today with a request for Madam Witch. I'm sorry, Miss Kay. To tell you the truth, Madam Granny... Eureka explains to Kay and Tomas that Madame Marta is currently bedridden. I understand, but if that's the case, it might be better to summon a doctor instead of taking her to the capital. Best we do it sooner than later. I'll make the arrangements once you've talked to her. Kay, I'll leave this to you. Kay. Northwest Storeroom. Kay tells Eureka that there's something she wants to discuss in secret. After moving to the unoccupied Northwest storeroom, she speaks. What's the matter, Miss Kay? I was wondering if I could borrow the curio you mentioned before. The screw of... something or other? The screw of Goliath? The one that prevents lies? Though her expression is a little troubled, Kay begs Eureka for the curio explaining that she needs it, so the Reitzes will approve of her. But how does that work? If I'd just told the truth, wouldn't they still say no? What? Nachi! I want to lend the screw of Goliath to Miss K. It's okay, isn't it? Seeing as Count Bismont isn't here anyway. The hell? Of course it's not. You can't lend out any of the curio to art. We have no idea what might happen. Definitely not. Huh? Why not? I'm much better off now that I've used one. Doesn't it depend on how a curio is used? <sighs> I mean, you and Madam Granny weren't able to solve the riddle, but I could do it with ease. I think that's incredible. Hey, you really Eureka? It's like you turned into someone totally different. What are you talking about? Of course I'm Eureka. And I can see all sorts of things that I couldn't before when I was stupid. But you weren't stupid. I understand so much more now. More than I ever thought possible. But pardon me. Eureka? You've changed. I haven't changed! What's wrong with you? Am I not Eureka anymore because I don't agree with everything you say? That's not what I'm saying. Yes, it is! You never left our room, so you don't know anything about Miss Kay at all! Why do you have to be so cruel all the time? I went in earlier and chicken meat's gone! You did that, didn't you? What? Forget it, Nachi! If you're not going to be cooperative, then I'll do it myself! Hey! I said no. Miss Eureka, I want to help him. And for the sake of the child I'm bearing, please, for Nicholas' future. You need to understand that the curio de art aren't supposed to be. You haven't done anything this whole time! Why are you suddenly butting in now? Just to be mean? Huh? I'm not trying to be mean. Over here, Miss Kay! <sighs> oh, is this it? Thank you, Miss Eureka. I hope you can hear how your parents really feel. Please be sure not to use it for anything else. It's dangerous. Yes, of course. I'll return with the doctor as soon as I reach the capital. I'm off, Kay. Okay. Thank you, Miss Eureka. I'll see how Madam Witch is doing. I'm sure she'd appreciate that. Oh. 
Oh, that's right. Nachi. Nachi, are you here? I'm sorry I was so harsh earlier. Miss <laughs> K brought some snacks. I'll leave them here, okay? It's been a while since Mr. Tomas left, but the doctor still hasn't arrived. I wonder what's taking so long. I'm just confused as to what the grand story is here. Like, what is actually happening everywhere right now? Where is all this leading? It's so confusing. It's like we're missing so many different bits. Huh? The... the sky's red! It's... it's burning? No, it can sometimes be red. Right? No, Nachi! Come here! Look! There's something wrong with the sky! The, the hell is this? It's bright red! Why? The clouds over there look like they're being lit up from below. The... the capital's burning? Oh. A revolution started in the capital. I'm sure the fighting will reach us here before much longer. A, a revolution? We have to run, Eureka. We're not safe here. We can't! Madam Granny's still here! We have to wait for the doctor! If we can see the fire from the manor, the capital's gotta be a war zone. No doctor's going to come all the way out here! Yeah, you're right. Huh? What was that noise? Miss K! What's happening? Yeah, good question. The capitals burning? Wait, that sound. The gate's been breached. They're already here? They can't be from the capital. I'm afraid the nearby villagers may be targeting nobles. Wh why Isn't it obvious? There's no way those penniless farmers are gonna play nice with the nobility anymore. Then they'll be on our doorstep any minute! We need to head back. Let's get inside. What is happening? Like, everything's advancing so fast. It's crazy right now. She's not here either. What's going on? Th that's right! We, we need to wake Perry up! A headless body lies on top of the bed. What? What? They hear a creaking sound from the attic. Cognac descends from the attic with a pair of loppers. Oh, I've been looking for you. I I'm glad you're all safe. His eyes have gone blue again. What are you doing here? <gasps> oh, oh I, I didn't mean to scare you, but it's dangerous here. You have to come with me. Don't worry, it's going to be all right. Now let's hurry. Cognac lowers the loppers and beckons the group towards him. Uh, Aries, come on, stand up. Uh, Nachiru, this way, you two, hurry. Uh, Miss K. K pushes the two of them into the tribunal and closes the door behind them. You're from the field nearby, aren't you? What are you doing here? Hey! Nachiru! Ah! Huh? Huh? 
Nachiru presses her cheek to the door as she tries to hear what's happening on the other side. I'm alright, you two. <laughs> I'm the oldest here, so don't worry. I'm a commoner myself. It'll be okay. What the hell is going on? They hear the sounds of objects being smashed and shouts that could be from rioters. What's going on? Nachi? This is no revolution. It's just a bloodthirsty mob. Once people come into power, they'll always use it for their own selfish ends. But, but everyone used to get along so well. Only within the existing power structure. If that changes, so does the way people think. If the way they think changes, so will their actions. <laughs> Damn it! What the hell? <laughs> like now what? What are you doing? Naturu is crying hysterically. She uses a piece of chalk to draw a ward around the room. What I'm thinking right now is like, but what about the door I need to go through? I'm going to check on Perry again. Thinking back, there wasn't any blood. Maybe I jumped to conclusions. Nachi? What are you doing? It's a ceiling technique. They won't be able to get in here that easily. But it'll only last for an hour or so. If they break in, then... Everything Kay did to help us get away would have been for nothing. Huh. Nachi, I wanted to ask. If the Lantern Day Phantasmagory itself were destroyed, what would happen to the spirit? What are you talking about? We've got bigger problems right now. Calm down, Nachi! This is important. I don't know. I don't even know which soul it's attached to right now. Yours or mine? Nachi, calm down! I really don't know. Fanti might come back to the medium. Or maybe the pact would just be broken. Worst case scenario, it disappears. <sighs> Thank you, Nachi. I believe it might be best to have the lantern go underground right now. I don't know what's beyond that door in the labyrinth, but I think we need to get past it. Yeah! It housed the Curio. We need to find out what's beyond even them. I feel like the architect behind the labyrinth definitely left some kind of message beyond that door. I think it'll help us uncover something that will explain what's happening right now. I hope so. Yuri? Go, Lantern! Find something for us! You're the only one that can save us! Uh, yeah. Loud voices outside emphasize how dire things are. Please, Lantern! We're all counting on you! What? You lost the screw of Galaya? Explore beyond the gate. Yeah. Oh, we got a request. New request has been added. Where is it? The mob wants blood. Oh. I had a noble may grant my wish if I wrote one of these. I need some fine wine. No, wait. A busty lady? Oh. One that'll soothe my body and soul. It's a kitty, but okay. There we go. Re re received screw of Galalia as a reward. Yeah. There we go. We got it back. Isn't that lovely? Right, that's the quest we needed, by the way, in order to progress to the next stage of the game and not just finish. Because if you don't finish the requests, you don't proceed to the next part of the game. That much I know. So, we're going to end this part here, and in the next part, we'll s explore beyond the gate. Tell off for now.